This is a review of the Akatel One Touch T-Pop Android phone. This phone is brand new and costed just £15. That is incredible. How could they possibly make an entire Android for £15? That is just amazing. I do not believe this. £15 for a brand new Android. No matter how crap this phone is, it is still a good deal. And this phone is not totally crap. Well, it's not a particularly good Android phone, it's rather rubbishy, but it's certainly not the worst Android I've ever come across. I still can't believe it. £15 for a brand new Android phone. Let's take a look at this device. Looking at the menus and interfaces, you can see there's a lot of lag. This is very similar to how Android was three years ago. This phone runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread. The user interface of this phone is not particularly good. This device has a 1 GHz processor, 1 quarter of a gigabyte of RAM. And as for sensors, this phone has an accelerometer, a proximity sensor, a light sensor and GPS. But it doesn't have quite a lot of the other sensors. For example, it doesn't have a gyroscope, it doesn't have a magnometer, it doesn't have IFID and it doesn't have a pressure sensor. So it's not really that good good range of sensors but it's still reasonable. Okay let's now try browsing the web. The web browser is well rather crappy not really that good but come on remember £15. At this price if you're just going to buy a phone and want even interest in having a smartphone you might as well buy a smartphone at this price. And now let's try running an app. Let's try and run Temple Run. And the phone stays at its screen for an awfully long time. So let's skip two minutes so we don't have to sit through this horrible wait. And it crashes. This device does not have enough RAM to run Temple Run. This phone is very similar to the sort of phones you used to buy about three years ago. It's quite similar to my Samsung Galaxy S, although it's not quite as good as my Samsung Galaxy S. For starters, Samsung Galaxy S can actually run Temple Run, but this Akatel T-Pop is almost as good. I didn't get my Samsung Galaxy S when it was brand new three years ago. I got it two years ago second hand, and I paid for it £230. And two years later, this Akatel T-Pop is almost as good and cost us £15. I still just can't believe I actually got a phone that cheap. And now let's try a direct race against opening an app. Let's run Hill Climb Races. Go! Ok, the Akatel One Touch Peacock is slower at loading the app, but actually playing the game has a amount of lag, they're almost identical. So, as my final verdict of the Akatel One Touch T-Pop, this is an amazingly good phone. As an Android phone, it's really rubbish, really crappy, but by far not the crappiest Android I've come across. And it is just £15. This is cheaper than some basic, bog-standard, non-smartphones.